So here we are at the end. We can blame John Fisher, the owner. We can blame Major League Baseball. And ultimately, though, it's the fans and the community that loses out. What we've learned in the last 57 years inside this Coliseum is that the A's aren't about baseball. The A's are about us. Perfectly imperfect. Those colorful personalities, hot dog vendors who turn out to be Hollywood stars, a bat boy turned world famous rapper, and an elephant roaming the grounds. Everyone is welcome at the Coliseum. It all worked because on the field, was a sight to see. Legends came to watch legends like Reggie and Ricky, Stu and Giam. There's nothing fancy about this place, crowded concourses and a lot of concrete, but it's our place and the Bay Area is losing part of its soul. The championship banners fly proudly, but the reality is within the past five years, the A's, Raiders and Warriors have all left the complex, all left the town. The past is glorious. The present is painful. As for the future, it's up to us how we move on. And that is it. The lights are out at the Coliseum, but you know what? This is a live look now inside the Coliseum. There's still about 50 people here four hours after the game. They don't want to go home, and I don't think they will for quite some time. It's almost like a family picnic here. It's a lot of the A's staff members and some of the security personnel as well. Audrey, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Uh, Raj, you said that well. The past was surely glorious. It's definitely been an emotional roller coaster for all the fans out there today. Thanks so much.